crypto is growing, right? I mean, price action does all sorts of things, but you can just look at, at all these channels and see that, look, over time, the asset class is growing. It's not always reflective on the price. Today, I interview quant analyst Benjamin Cowan and ask him one simple question. Who are the top eight crypto YouTube channels in 2023 based on the data? So we compare the numbers of Coin Bureau, BitBoy Crypto, Altcoin Daily, Cryptos Are Us, Crypto Banter, and many more. We also look at top crypto Twitter accounts. So Ben, what's the data set? One nice thing, just like with crypto, you can figure out which ones are the best ones sometimes just because by looking at the market, like which one does the market value, right? And the market tends to value Bitcoin and, and Ethereum over a lot of the other ones over the macro scale. Uh, so let's check in on, on YouTube views. And and uh, one of the interesting things is you can see, so we're, we're tracking, I don't know how many, we're, so we're tracking uh, me, BitBoy, Coin Bureau, yourself, Data Dash, Journey Crypto, Invest Answers, Cryptos RS, Crypto Banter, and Digital Asset News. So a nice selection of those, of those are those are some of the big ones. That's a good selection. Yeah, yeah, and, and I, I think we probably will add some more as time goes on. Um, but this is what we've been tracking for probably the last year or so. And what's interesting is you can really see the last bull market in terms of social media views, right? I mean, like this this is new YouTube views to these YouTube channels. I mean, look at this influx of people. We were getting. By the way, back in, in 2019, 2020, collectively, these channels were only averaging 200,000 views like a day. Now, or back in 2021, we were averaging almost 3 million views a day. Like, I mean, you're talking an order of magnitude move. And now it's back down to around like five or 600,000 views a day. So, I mean, you know, still definitely bear market territory in terms of like social interest, right? But yeah, like, let's check in, like, which ones are getting more of the views? Um, we'll start with me. I, I do enjoy dunking on myself from time to time. And I mean, this is sort of like the, uh, the fade into irrelevance, right? The fade into irrelevance is what we're looking at right here. So, uh, my highest view count, I guess, was back in, in 2021. Um, I, I think the reason why I had a spike here is because I was, I was very vocal about a summer lull, right? I was like, all right, well, we need to go down for the summer and then we'll go back up. Um, and then, and then that was, I think why I got some more views there, but ever since then it's been more or less down uh, pretty co consistently. So I, I'm, I'm now at averaging around 30, 30 to 40,000 views a day. However, you are averaging about 120,000 views a day. Yes. So, I mean, you're, I mean, you're killing it, man. You're, you're, you're single-handedly keeping the social risk alive. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's at, for the, the altcoin daily audience. Thank you guys. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, I think the altcoin daily audience is, is honestly there. I think they're tuning in more to your channel than others to other channels. Like if you were to go through the list here. Um, so me, I'm at 30 to 40,000. You have BitBoy who's currently at 88,000 or so a day, which is still a good number. I mean, 88,000 views a day is that's double what I'm getting. Uh, almost triple what I'm getting. Coin Bureau. 106,000 a day on average or so. Uh, again, I'm looking at a seven day moving average here. I mean, if you look at, if you just look at it like this, um, it's a lot noisier. So I, I tend to just take a, a seven day moving average just because it, it cleans it up a little bit. Um, so Coin Bureau's is currently at about 106,000 a day. You're currently at 114,000 a day. Data Dash is at around 9,000 a day. Journey, I think Journey Crypto maybe stopped making videos. Yeah. Um, yeah, which is why you kind of just see it trailed off. Uh, Invest Answers is is currently at around forty four thousand a day. Cryptos are us. He's actually doing pretty well too. Um, eighty eight thousand a day. Uh, Crypto Banter, uh, doing pretty well as well. Eighty four thousand. Uh, but actually, I mean, not too long ago was up at that one forty eight level. And then Digital Asset News is is currently at around twenty thousand. But again, it, it's somewhat noisy here. I think maybe he went on vacation, and that's why you see it dip so low, and it just came soaring right back. But Look, I mean, you're you've done pretty well here. I mean, even in look at this in November, you were at three hundred thousand a day. That's pretty pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that's that's a great way to I think visualize it. And by the way, this is looking at the uh, just the the new YouTube views. The other way we can look at it is just look at total views, and you can see uh, and maybe switch it to a log scale. Well, it's hard to look at on a log scale because it's a stack chart. But I mean, you can see like you know that it's just continuing to go up into the it's right, beautiful. right. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Yeah, I think it's a really interesting chart to look at. And if you want to look at yours, by the way, just specifically yours, that's what it looks like. So you were at uh, in in 2020. So January 2020, you were at about 15 million views. January of 2021, 
35 million. January of 2022, 106 million. Uh, January 2023, 152 million. And now you're at 174 million. I so, would I mean, look, the, the, the point is that like crypto is growing, right? I mean, price action does all sorts of things, but you can just look at, at all these channels and see that look over time, the asset class is growing. It's not always reflected on the price. And before we get to crypto Twitter, I would love to look at subscribers, see who's still growing in 2023 in the bear. And I would guess you are probably one of those ones growing because, dude, you've been giving a lot of relevant information that turned out to be right with these altcoin reckoning. No one cares about that. They don't care about that. No, they care. They People, people don't care about that kind of stuff. I think... Um, uh, if anything, I probably would have had more views if I had just been promoting all coins uh, consistently. Like me. Yeah, but I mean, like, I, I mean, you you focus more on the news, right? I mean, I focus more on price. So, like, I have to well, when it comes to altcoins, I always have to think about like, are they bleeding against Bitcoin or not? If I, I think if I didn't focus on the Bitcoin valuations and I only focus on the USD valuations, I think I would have more subscribers. But anyways, if you look at if you look at new subscribers, um, it's a ghost town. It's a ghost town. And I mean, you know, the, the views that were that people are getting, I think what it represents, it represents the base is still there, right? Like there's there's always going to be people that are going to stick around. They're they're not the tourists, right? So they're still here. But we're not seeing a lot of new people come in. This was actually one of the reasons I was bearish on altcoins a few months ago is like, you know, people keep talking about alt season back in April. And I'm like, well, if no one new is coming in, who's the marginal buyer to buy your, you know, to buy your bags, right? Like no one new cares who who's going to be, who's going to be buying your bags. And that's why, I mean, you can see that altcoins dumped like 30% not long after that. This is a, a seven day moving average um, of all these channels. Um, and you can see right now we're averaging about 285 new subscribers per day across all these channels. Wait, how many? 285? That's not very much. That's right? nothing. That's not very much. Yeah, that's nothing. Um, look at it. Might be better to do like a thirty-day moving average. Over thirty days, we're averaging a loss of one hundred subscribers. Let's now, look at it. Yeah, is that ahead. is that? Hold on, is that because of Altcoin Daily? No, he's trying to hold the boat up here. <laughs> so Altcoin Daily is still getting subscribers, right? Like, so you can see um, that you are you haven't. I mean, you had one down tick here right back in April 2022. But I mean, that can happen because you just go above it for like a day and then you go below it. And then it looks like you lost 10,000 subscribers where in reality, you probably just lost 100 um, because the bots were getting cleaned up. And and then you went back up. Because the thing with uh, YouTube is that it only tracks, once you get above a million subscribers, it only tracks it in 10,000 subscriber increments. So like if you hit 1.45 million, and then went down, you know, 10,000, or you went down 100, if it puts you below that threshold, that's how a, a 10,000. And you can see that you lost that 10,000, but then you immediately got it back, like just a few days later. So you've actually still been adding here, right? Like you can see that every, every, you know, month or two, you're adding another 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Can we look at Coin Bureau and BitBoy too? Uh, two of the other, you know, here's Coin Bureau. Killing it. So this is Coin Bureau. Pretty consistently adding 10,000 actually. Um, BitBoy, and it's up and down. It's up and down. Um, but I, I mean, I will say this: all three of you have done by far better than me. I mean, look, I've lost some recently. So I mean, this is one of those phases where uh, you have some like this is me, this is BitBoy, this is Coin Bureau, this is you. So you and Coin Bureau are are getting um probably the most right now. Um, Data Dash. Journey Crypto, Invest Answers, Crypto Bandit, Crypto Zoros, and Digital Asset News. So that's what it looks like. If we clean it up and look at a 30-day moving average, that's what it looks like. Okay. So net, it's been a loss of 100 subscribers. If you remove some people, right? Like, of course, that can change. I'm not really sure if I remove people, if it'll change. Actually, I guess it will. So like, if you were to just look at, say, yourself, your 30-day... No, it is still it still is calculating it for everyone. I mean, if you were to just look at yourself, though, I mean, you can see that you're adding you're adding about ten thousand subscribers um, every few weeks, which is pretty good. You know, I mean, it's much better than I'm doing losing a thousand subscribers. Every few weeks. <laughs> and um, I would I would love for even especially those new subscribers that have just joined the Altcoin Daily team, maybe maybe just joined the Benjamin Cowan team YouTube channel. Comment down below 
what crypto content creator do you really like? Do you think should be number one? I love seeing this actual data, but I also like getting like recommendations from people in crypto. Who do you like and why? Yeah, for sure. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at these new subscribers, 30 day moving average. Like you can see where the bull market was. You can also see how 69K was a lower high, right? You might call that, we can call that social divergence. <laughs> uh, for sure. Where, yeah. But yeah, you want to you wanna head on over to the Twitter stuff? Let's go Twitter. I, yeah, so I we... think in my anecdotal um, analysis, we are growing faster on Twitter, I think, because in my opinion, it's so much easier to put out five quality good tweets while it takes me half a day to put out a quality video. So I think Altcoin Daily is growing a little faster on Twitter in the bear. Yeah, we can put that theory to the test. What's interesting is that, did this not call the top? <laughs> like, so this, <laughs> this is new Twitter followers to the same people that we were just looking at on YouTube, except we added uh, we added Plan B, because he's a pretty popular guy on Twitter, uh, but he doesn't really have a, I don't think he has a YouTube channel. So he's an important guy to follow. Um, but look at he this. They did not call the top. <laughs> like, so sometimes I feel like these metrics, like, you know, we don't we don't look at them a whole lot, but like when when you see social sentiment coming in like that, like you have to ask yourself, how much longer can this be sustained, you know? Um, and, and I mean, of course the, the floor fell out and, and then now it's just a bear market in terms of new Twitter followers for most people compared to what was going on back over here. Now to break it up, which I know what we want to do, let's first start with me. Um, cause it's always fun to dunk on myself. Uh, so seven day moving average, it looks like I'm getting about 834 new followers on average every seven days, uh, which is not bad. Um, at the peak, I was getting more like three to two to 3000. Uh, you, on the other hand, are averaging, let me get this. So you can see that you're averaging what, like, this is a, this is not a moving. So you're, you're averaging three to 400 new subscribers or new followers a day. It looks like, does that sound like what you're seeing? Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. So like if we were to take a, a 30 day moving average of this, um, you're averaging about 900 a day or sorry. Yeah. I mean, so the 30 day SMA of it is about 900 or so, but yeah, I mean, you can see that you're still growing right now. I mean, you're, you're still averaging two to 300 new people, new followers per day. Um, do you want me to compare to anyone specific? I mean, I want to know the top. So I want to know BitBoy, Coin Bureau, you, me, and then George, uh, George doesn't really do Twitter as much. Um, I'm not BitBoy and Coin Bureau do though. Okay. So BitBoy. And they've also been on the channel just like you. So I do like to. Yeah. I mean, it... It looks like I think maybe this value is for everyone, actually, not just um, you. So let me let me look closely at these numbers. So BitBoy, I mean, you can see back over here, he was averaging about 3000 a day. Right now, it's he's averaging, you know, 50, 60 a day. Some days are negative, but some days are negative for me, too, um, because, you know, sometimes the bots get cleaned up and some people sometimes just unfollow because they don't like you. you know? For sure. <laughs> Consolidation, consolidate yeah. the portfolio, consolidate the social. Yeah. So I think this number over here is including everyone. So let me just look closely here, right? So you can see, and let me get a moving average, right? So like a seven day moving average puts BitBoy at, at getting about 88 per day. A seven day moving average of Coin Bureau is getting about 114 per day. You are getting about 261 per day on average, like over, over a seven day moving average. Uh, Data Dash is getting about seven a day journey crypto so he he's loot but he he it's just because he's no longer active so it's he not capitulated a yeah like i mean like if, if 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 we all just stopped making content we would all lose followers right like it's not it's not a fair comparison um invest answers he's averaging about 20 a day um cryptos are us he's averaging about eight per day i maybe he just I, he's not as active on twitter i mean you can see whenever he yeah. does get active he starts to gain like two or three hundred and then he just doesn't tweet for a while uh, which i think explains that crypto banter is averaging about 20 a day or so. Plan B is averaging about 100 or 200 a day. I mean, he's currently at 132, which is 132, which is respectable, of course. And then Digital Asset News is averaging about 85. I believe you're in the, I, I think you're in the lead um, at about 261 per day, if if I'm not mistaken. And uh, if we were just sort of stack these charts, right? So if we stacked you, Coin Bureau, Bit and BitBoy, that's what it looks like. Um, and you are the light blue down here. So the reason why you're not at the top here is because um, it's just it's just sort of stacking it, right? That's the reason. I think this is super, super interesting. And I forgot to do the summation of top YouTubers, just going on people based on the views in the bear market, the top crypto YouTubers, 
in 2023 would be altcoin daily uh coin bureau and then bitboy crypto and actually close tie with george of cryptos are us and then crypto banter wow. so it's so, very interesting to see yeah youtube youtube subscribers for coin bureau he's at 2.27 million he's killing it man dude um, is killing it you're at what are you at you're at is 1.31 million sun right yep okay almost then, one point almost that tick up to point two three yeah, two and then uh bitboy is at at one four five so you guys are all i mean you guys are all doing pretty well you're around that one to two million range i'm at yeah like seven hundred and eighty three thousand. Which I, I don't think mine's, I mean, I, I think if anything, mine's probably going to start going down, um, if I had to guess. Unless unless I branch out to talking about the news or something, I don't, I don't see any reason why it's going to change until until the Fed goes back to QE. So <laughs> I think I think let's not worry about Reddit. Maybe if the audience wants it, we'll look at Reddit next time. But I would love, based on Twitter, based on YouTube, can we make any conclusions or hypotheses based on when the bottom will happen? Because in retrospect, it's kind of clear to see the top. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like the, the bottom is also should be described. What is the bottom? Is it for Bitcoin? Is it for altcoins? Is it for everything? Um, obviously, there's a case to be made that 15.5 could have been the bottom, right? There's always a case to be made. I don't think we're going to know the answer to that until we figure out, like, if it's if we get a higher low or a lower low or a double bottom, normally that occurs sometime in between Q3 and Q1. So we just entered into Q3. Uh, but the way I think you 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 quantify all this is you look at how things have historically done and, and you you normalize it between you you normalize the uh the delta between a range uh between zero and one and you do it for all five categories so the youtube subs youtube views twitter analysts twitter exchanges and twitter layer ones and you get a chart that looks like this and this is if i hide the price this is what i call the social risk um so this goes back to that prior video where we we're talking about the altcoin market the time, the time that I want to buy altcoins is when the social risk is between zero and one, like last time, right? When it's between zero and one. And right now it's at, it's close. It's at 0.17, right? So it's getting close. Like it's getting close. And I, I think we'll probably be there within a few months. I think we'll see that social risk come to those lower wristbands in a few months. And if you, I mean, if you think the bottom is already in for the altcoin market, uh, look, you could be right. But again, I would say just a few weeks ago, we saw a lot of them put in new lows, you know, just a few weeks ago. And and imagine if Bitcoin were to drop, what, ha what, what would happen, right? I mean, like they put in new lows and Bitcoin's still at 31K. <laughs> um, so that's, I, I think that's what we need to look at. And I think this is how you, you make use of this stuff, right? You, we're not talking about it just to talk about it, right? We, we talk about it because you can learn a lot from the market by understanding if people are coming into the market or leaving the market. One interesting thing, by the way, is... You know, when when the social risk is going down like it is now, typically the Bitcoin dominance, so you like how I work in the dominance in every video, right? That's but like the, the, when the social risk. Yeah. When the social risk is going down, the Bitcoin dominance normally goes up because when the liquidity dries up, people leave the altcoin market, they go to Bitcoin, they go to cash, right? Either Bitcoin or cash. Um, and, and that's where they normally go or stable coins, right? When this bottoms out, and that's why back in April, by the way, back in April, when when you asked me if I was bullish or bearish, I said bearish because I'm like, who who's buying? I mean, I, I'm watching my channel lose subscribers. And, you know, I'm watching the social risk go down. And since April, it's only continued to go down. And you could clean this up as well by looking at, say, like a 30 day moving average of it. Right. It's just it's just continuing to go down. So I think this is how you how you how you make use of the social stuff is you you try to figure out. um you know, you, you basically want to get into the altcoin market at the lowest social risk levels. And you want to get out of the altcoin market at the highest social risk levels. I think that's how you use it. And look, I mean, and just for the for the people that think I'm too bearish in the altcoin market, if you're buying an altcoin that actually provides some fundamental value and will survive into the next, um, you know, major phase of expansion, buying now will probably work out pretty well in a couple of years, right? It's uh, look, I've we've all been there. Doesn't mean that it can't go down first, but it probably would work out within a couple of years as long as you're buying something that actually has some utility to it. It's just that as long as the social risk is trending down and people are capitulating, why why should we assume that the altcoin market has you know has has necessarily put in its low? Right. As long as this keeps trending down, I keep thinking that retail is still capitulating. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to be here. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're from my channel, make sure you guys subscribe to Altcoin Daily as well. Uh, he goes over all the news and all sorts of stuff that I, I don't talk about on my channel.
I would love to get all your subscribers onto my channel. And then I want to push equally all my subscribers onto your channel. Let's get that. Let's not let the social risk go down too fast. You're keeping it elevated, man. I'm, I'm waiting for it to get to that zero to 0.1, but you're single-handedly keeping it elevated with all your views.